Hi guys, it's Angie Bell again with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm coming at you guys today with a continuation of the Sharon Greens in fives art journaling technique. Techniques. Um, I am on step three, which is stamp and stencils. Okay, so you know, I failed miserably at collage and recycle. Okay, I mean I got it all done, but it took me 45 minutes. So I went over by 30 minutes. So let's just hope I do better today with the time. I almost feel like I'm not going to because, uh, I don't know. I looked at all the stenciling and all the stamps, and I'm like, oh, my God, how am I going to do it fast? Anyway, but if I don't make it in time-wise, I'm not going to stress about it. At least at the end of my session, I'll have 20, you know, 20 more pages done. So um, I just want to quickly show you how these turned out. Um, I want to make sure I'm in frame, so I'm going to put this behind here. Just a second. I want to. I just want to make sure I'm in frame so you guys can see these. I want to show you what I got done with the collaging. Let me come up just a little bit. We'll come out just a tad. Oops. Just a tad. Okay. So I'm just going to show you the collaging that I got done that I took 45 minutes to do. Okay. So that's that one. There's that one. And some of these you guys might have saw that day, but then some of them I showed I was showing so quickly because I was having to move along so quickly. Okay. And I have a little lifting here or there, but that um, glue stick did really good. So you guys are looking for a glue good stick, uh, a good glue. Here we go. A good glue stick. That Elmer's glue stick is uh, pretty decent. And that's an accomplishment to find a decent glue stick because usually they don't work. And it's hard to, you guys choosing like your stencils and your stamps because you don't have like a set plan. I always have like a theme and a set plan, which I know is like what you're not supposed to have is a set theme or a plan. You're supposed to let your creativity take over. So it's hard to pick the stamps and to pick out your, um, your stencils. But what I try to do is do a lot of background type of stamps and stencils. Um, I do have some numbers that are going to be more pronounced which is what I want, and to lighten things up. Because some, some of my stuff is really dark on the black pages, which I like, but um, it, it needs a pow. It needs some something lighter to open it up. So, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start my timer. And also, one second, too, i got to um, readjust. Okay, um, I'm setting my timer here. Is it supposed to be? Yeah, 15 minutes. Okay. All right, just one second, guys. Let me move the camera down. Let's focus in a little bit more. Move the camera over. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I'm not too much in the camera. I have my paint clothes on, you guys. So if you guys see like a t-shirt and all that, when I do this, I always have a junk shirt on and junk pants because I get paint on myself. Okay. Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why you, I, other people get nervous too, they say. Because it's like stressful. Because like you have like a time limit and you're like, oh. Oh, anyway, let me also, I'm going to use a lot of white paint in this, in my stencil. So let me get the paint started. I don't know if that's cheating, but I got to do something. <laughs> okay. All right. I know I want to do that. Okay. So it, we are starting. Okay. I already feel like I'm going slow. <laughs> All righty. Um, 
else do I want to do? Love this big, huge. Oh, I love what this texture this is putting on this whole thing here. Love. Love this big, huge stamp. I got this stamp for, you guys look at that, that stamp for five bucks at a um, thrift shop. It was in one of my hauls. Love it. Okay, that one's done. Let's put that paint over here. Let's get my phone out of the way. Oh, you know what? I know I should be taking as much time on this one stencil, on this one thing, but you know what? I need to, it needs more black. So let me get some of my background stamps up on it. Yeah. I feel like we need a little bit of something on here. Okay. All right, now I like that a little bit better. Okay, now we can go. I would have put these on the floor like I did last time. Okay, what do we want on this one? Okay, I know I wanted to put let's get some brown let's get some brown clocks. What the heck was that? Okay, no big deal, guys. It wasn't anything I needed. Okay. Let me move myself up, make sure I'm in frame. Oh, that looks cool. I'll show it to you guys here in just a second. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you kind of low because I know the camera's not up real high. Doesn't that look cool? Okay. And right here needs to be some lightness. We're going to use a Tim Holtz love his stuff. Tim Holtz um, stencil. He needs to make bigger stencils. I know he likes to make tags and smaller projects and stuff. He needs to make bigger stencils. Just my opinion. See how cool that looks on the bottom? Love! Okay. Keep moving. Uh, what do I want to do here? I want to lighten up this darkness over here with some white paint. Yeah, that looks cool. I love stenciling through numbers, you guys. You've seen me always do that. I love it. I think it's just really effective, really cool. doing this one just all the way around with the, with the, the border all the way around it's a little dark I think it looks really cool okay done with that and then really quickly I'm going to use my I think I'll use my clock stamp again this clock stamp is awesome I love it I've had it for a few years now. I don't know where the heck I got it. Somewhere at, like Michael's or Joanne's. I think Joanne's. Oh, this looks really cool. Everything looks cooler with clock stamped on it. Okay. Show you guys that one. Okay, that turned out really cool. And at the end, I'll go ahead and show you guys if my camera doesn't turn off today. I'll show you what um I'll show you what I got. Okay, this is a cool stamp with faces on it. So I'm thinking that this will look really cool with the white paint. Won't do any stamping on this, just faces. And I'll do two more faces right here. They're not major faces, like little images of faces. That's the cool, I forgot the name, Skinner, I think is the guy who does these stamps. Or Really, this is the coolest stamps. You guys, I can already tell I'm going to be taking longer than the 
15 minute requirement. But, oh well. Doing my best. Oh, that looks really cool. Wait, this way. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, next one. I know right away that I want to. I don't like this white up here. Let me check my camera. I don't like that white up there. If I had time, I would Tim Holtz distress it, which I will do during my free play. Yeah, you guys are you got a pretty good view. Um, I will Tim Holtz distress that because I do not like that at all. Um, actually, no, I'm going to get this. Which way does this stamp go? This is a cool postage stamp. I'm going to put that right over these women. Oh, this looks cool. So I wanted to darken this up and brown this out a little bit. I'll still Tim Holtz distress it because that's just too white. But it looks really cool. We'll do another one there. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, and then let's just really quickly do a little, um, a little bit of numbers. You know what? I'm going to use my other number stamp here or stencil. It's actually one I made from my brother's scan and cut. These numbers are going to be pretty big. See how we like them. Here we go. You guys, it's crazy just making decisions on them with them. <laughs> oh, let's try this. Hope and pray it's not a disaster. Oh, that's cool. Love it. turned out pretty cool like it okay next uh what do we want to do oh my god you guys such a trip making decisions like this <laughs> wait till you guys do it it's fun but it's like ah guess she's got to kind of let go don't worry about them making a mess making a mess or making a mistake have fun let go Creativity happen. That is it. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. Love it. Okay, one more thing um, that I want to do is use my. Oh, this will be cool. I haven't used my music note stamp yet. Love my music note stamp. Don't use it enough. I guess I don't need to be slamming it that hard, do I, guys? I'm sure there's people out there going, you don't need to slam it that hard. You need to slam it that hard when you're in a rush. And <laughs> you're like, ah! Okay, that looks cool. And I want to do one more thing, which I probably shouldn't do one more thing to this. Just stop while I'm ahead. As far as time, but... Oh, actually, what am I doing? See how you start spazzing out? <laughs> this is a small stamp, and I'm, like, taking this big stamp on it. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, this looks really good. Okay. So that's how that one turned out. I'll take it. Next. Okay. That's how I need to work with that one. Okay. I'm trying to think what I was going to do. I think this would look really cool over here coming out. That did look cool. Love it. And I think I'm going to call that one done. That's so effective. And I think I'm going to do more of the same on this one. Right here in the corner. I like that. On these darker pieces, they need a, they need a bang. So... Love it. There we go. And you know what else I might do? I might do numbers really quick on the other side. Or maybe up here. Yeah, I'll do some numbers right there. Oh, I have a really cool, like, um, script, like cursive writing stamp. A script stamp, um, not stamp, um, a script, um, 
stencil. I gotta use that still. Oh, that looks cool. There we go. Love it. Uh, talking about that script stencil, I'm gonna use it right now. Doesn't really matter. It's script. Okay, there we go. I haven't really used paint with this yet. I usually use um, I use a wall compound to do that texture type of stuff you do for a stencil. I forgot the stuff you're supposed to use, but that's what I use. A light wall compound. I haven't done a paint through it. Is that interesting? Okay, let's see. Oh, that looks so cool. Loving! Let's do a little more down here, just in the corner. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be using the stamp more often with a paint. Not just the wall compound. Oh my god, you guys, look at how fabulous that looks. I love it. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this again, because I like that the way that looked. We're going to do it right here. That looks so cool. I just did a little bit in the corner, and I'm going to get away from my numbers, and I'm going to use this um, bamboo stencil that I have. Okay, let's go this way. Well, actually, it's not going to show up on this white part. I didn't really need to do that. I might wipe that paint off the white part because it's not really going to show. Okay. Oh, that looks really cool. Look how cool that looks, you guys. I love it. Okay. I gotta stop showing and stopping. I should show and keep going. Okay, let me use my postage stamp on the white. And like I said, when I have my free play, what she calls free play, I will, um, I don't want to get my stamp and paint. Perfect. That's a little bit of brown. Um, when I get my free play, I will take anything that looks too white and I'll, you know, use my Tim Holtz vintage photo or rust color or whatever. That looks cool. Gotta love this postage stamp. So cool. Okay. That one turned out really cool. I like it. Next one. Okay. What are we going to do here? Okay. Oh, this will be this will be cool for some clocks. Put some clocks. I mean, the ladies right over there, right over them. I was right. Still would love to Tim Holtz distress this with some vintage photo right now, but we don't got time for vintage photo. Okay. You know, I like this clock stamp. It's working good. I'm just gonna stamp everything right over with it. Even the flowers looks kind of cool to have the um, flowers having a little bit of like clock coming. This is like this, like you can see little bits of clock just appearing through the flowers. Looks pretty cool. I need to have some white over here. Uh, we'll do, you guys know I am now hooked on my, um, just like cursive writing stamp or a uh, stencil. Script stencil. Get it right, Angela. cool. Loving. Okay. You guys know I'm dropping these on the floor behind me. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Um, definitely this one is for a number. The numbers on the bottom here. I'll get a little more paint. I wonder where I'm at with time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I just set it and time went. Okay, you guys, we'll set it for another 15 minutes. Let's see where I get to. Okay, just reset it for another 15. Let's hopefully I can get it done in the next 15 minutes. Okay, love that. I'm going to put, do that paint up here in the corner again. Love that, and let's do 
Santos. I'm doing the uh, music note stamp. That looks really cool. A little bit more. Okay. So there's that one. That looks cool. Try to spread these puppies out over here on the floor. Okay, moving along. Um, let's use this stamp here. I like this page so much, I'm not going to change it too much. I'm just going to do this one stamping. You guys are like, yeah, right. You know you can't help but start putting something else on something. <laughs> I like the queen of overdoing, that's for damn sure. Okay, I'm going to leave it, you guys. I only did the postal stamp right here over this, and I like it. Uh, again, I'm going to use the same postage stamp because I think that's going to look good over the... Okay, over these uh, old-fashioned bicycles. It looks really cool. And then I'm going to use my script stamp on the other parts, which I think will look really cool. You guys, this stamp was $14.75 originally. I got this for five bucks, like I said. I have another one too. And I think I paid eight dollars when it was like 50% off. So to pay five bucks for something that was fifteen dollars is great. I mean it's used, but look how big this is awesome. I love it. Okay, that turned out just fabulous. And I'm just going to stamp everywhere and get the rest of the ink off of my thing, which will add more depth and texture into my art. Loving that. That is one of my favorites. Okay, here's another one. Decision time. Okay, um... I'm thinking clock stamp here. Oh, I got another script stamp that's a little bit more funky. I think I'll use that one too. I forgot about that. I just saw it right now. I'll show you guys here in a second. Yeah, I love the clocks over these women. Let me finish up the stamping. Okay. There's another script stamp, which I love. I think it's why that Skinner dude do it again. Okay. And I think it was a good idea to go with this white on my darker things just to give everything a little punch. So it wasn't a total no plan because you do have to kind of look at what you're what what happened with everything so you can kind of make decisions of what you're gonna pick out of all your stuff. Love that. Isn't that cool? Um I think I feel that some numbers need to go up here. So just a second. <coughs> put some numbers up here. Because that's what I'm feeling. Oh, I love it, and I even did the numbers backwards. Love it! Okay, we are definitely in need of clocks or scripts. I'll do some script stamping. Sorry, you guys, that's my phone. We'll just let that go, so it'll be ringing for a second. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. Love it. And then we will do, we're going to do um, that bamboo again over here. That'll look really, really effective. 